So Sarah, we know that storytelling is an important skill set. It might be a transferable skills. But sometimes immigrants coming to a new country who might have an accent or they think in their native language and then translating to English, the words might not come easily. So in your expertise, what they can do, and I always tell when I'm helping students or immigrants, that I tell them when you go home, don't speak your native language with your parents or your, with your family, speak English or watch English news or read something in English so that you practice the English language. So is there any other tips you, you have? Yes. Uh, so let me comment first on the storytelling uh, uh, component specifically. Mm -hmm. So storytelling is definitely a skill. So I do understand not everyone has the storytelling uh, skill, yes. uh, but it's quite impactful and effective when we answer like interview questions yes. through telling a story. Right. Yeah. Or having that example and saying it in a story, it will stay in people's mind more. They will remember you better. They will yeah. re they will get the, the message across uh, uh, faster and they will remember you after the interview. So storytelling is quite important mm -hmm. uh, to the job search uh, journey. Other than the interviews, you actually need it when you network yeah. because. Right. Because it's not it's not going to be like theoretical a talk or factual. It's going to mm -hmm. be like conversational Conversation. and you, yeah. you're you going to speak a little bit about yourself and so on. And so forth. you might include some personal with professional context and so on. So that storytelling technique, it's definitely uh, much needed. Mm -hmm. So we can rehearse. Uh, and you can rehearse at home about like different, let's say, uh, stories that you can always have handy with you and ready to share it, um, you know, in interviews uh, to support your uh, skill. Or it could be like before you go to a cocktail party or a conference or a workshop or, or, or an event, you have some like key points in your mind that you want to share across mm -hmm. to promote yourself. So these you can as well have them. Uh, ready with you. So rehearse as much as you want, whether in front of mirror or or like do a video and then see yeah. it later, or maybe in front of someone you trust who can uh, critique you very well. Um, those are important, definitely tactics. Yeah. Now, based on uh, as well what you mentioned in the in the question, which is how they can strengthen maybe themselves, especially yeah. when it comes to the language barrier. Um, the more that as well we watch, let's say, uh, videos of people maybe presenting or or maybe even your favorite uh, um, like TV show in English, mm -hmm. of course, I'm, I'm referring to the English language in specific, yes. or maybe even Netflix series yeah. or movies, that will help. You can put even the subtitles in English if you want to even you know practice, like yeah. follow up more and practice yeah so that is another way in a fun way how you can strengthen your language the other way is uh if i go back to the survival job the survival job will help you as well to strengthen your language because mm -hmm. you will be interacting a lot with different people from the community and uh, in life so that's another uh, way to practice your english um uh, and to strengthen it for immigrants in specific and uh as you are aware, Meher, as well, the Newcomer Center, which is supported by the government, they provide as well English yes. language courses. So that's another way as well to refer to that center to see how you can get supported uh, if we are referring to the language uh, uh, barrier or gap here. So these are different, um, let's say, ways or tips in addition to what you mentioned. And uh, yeah, people yeah. can make use those of are, it. Yeah, those are great tips, Sarah. Thank you very much. Again, for the audience, if you have any more tips, you can leave them below. And tune in next time from our great question with Sarah.